it's funky and fresh. I'm like, oh, I sound like such a loser. Oh my goodness. It's cool. What are the words that the cool kids use? I don't know. It's cool. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I've lost my bearings. I've lost my bearings. So this morning started off quite chaotically because I had every plan to, you know, get up, get sorted, film, have a really productive day. Then after showering, I managed to get the plug of my sink stuck. And that was then 45 minutes of trying to figure out how to get it unstuck, where the popper thing at the back wasn't doing what I needed it to do. So, managed to use the Hoover. Long story short, 45 minutes, managed to use the Hoover, suction it out, the plug's now gone to one side, the thing in the sink is broken, whatever, doesn't need it, doesn't need a plug, it's all good. Ah, oh, just through the day. But anyway, hello, 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 and the warmest of welcomes to today's video. For those of you who haven't seen my face before, hi, I'm Nick, glad to have you here. Those who have seen my face before, thank you so much for joining me again. I hope you're enjoying my videos. I've had videos roughly three times a week on a range of different topics, anywhere from fashion, slightly more personal topics. So if that sounds like something you'd be interested in, then please do head down, hit subscribe, and turn on the notification bell. I love chatting with you all. I'm on about living life loud, and what that means to me is being your authentic self, being proud to be you, and just celebrating who you are. Celebrate yourself, and of course, celebrating others. So today, I'm just going to give you a quick first impressions of one of my newest bags, and this is the Longchamp Le Pliage Energy Belt Bag, and I have mine in white. I keep it in this dust bag just simply because I leave it inside my large Rousseau, and then I just grab it as I go. Normally, I have it stuffed. However, because I'm going to show you the bag and I'm going to show you some of the capacity, I didn't think to bother with that. So let's do a quick rundown of this. I have had this since the end of November. I bought it from the Regent Street store. Fabulous, fabulous piece. I first started looking at it in September time, um, when I went to a Longchamp event, tried it on, thought about buying it, ended up buying a couple of other things like um, at the store. So I bought, what did I buy? I bought the pouch from the Longchamp by Toilet Paper collection and then also the Longchamp London travel bag. Um, and then I also bought um, a Mulberry Bay's water as well, which was a fairly big purchase um, in the middle of all of that. So then when it came to November, I bought it. So it is in this white Eco Nile and it comes with the black strap, which is adjustable. Um, you can wear it as a belt or you can wear it across the chest, which is my preferred way of wearing it. It has almost like a gunmetal type hardware. This is black plastic. And then you've got the black fabric that is here. And on the hardware, it just says Longchamp there. Um, and then this is a bit more of a silver than the gunmetal. I'm not quite sure why they didn't match the hardware here, which is silver, to the gunmetal here, to the silver here. Would have made sense to have it all as the same, but anyway. I'm not in their design team, so what do I know? But this bag is a fun piece. It's practical, it's easy to use, it's easy to style, it's a good price point. It was £165, I want to say. Got a big kind of Longchamp Paris um, logo, not logo, but um, yeah, wording on the front there. Nice and bright. I absolutely love the white. I think it's fabulous. You can also buy this in, I want to say there was navy tobacco black. There's, is there an orange? There's like a burnt orange colour. They, they do change, um, but yeah, this is available in a few different a few different colours. So it's a great it's a great piece from that perspective. And then it's got it's got this kind of slightly athletic look to it, which I appreciate about it. So you unzipper it, and on the interior, it's a fairly substantial open space. And then you do also have a zip pocket at the back here as well, which is also a good size. So that would be enough to put a phone or something like that in. Um, I've got my care booklet. I always just keep my care booklets in the pockets um, so that I know which one relates to which bag. 
um, and I'm just trying to look if there's anything else of note in here. It's got a little bit of a long shot kind of cross hatch um, design, but that won't come up very well. That's something that you notice when you get close to it. And the hardware also says Longchamp on it as well. So like I said, it's an easy bag to use. I tend to just throw it across the chest. So in terms of how I've styled it so far, I styled it for um, when I was first trying it on and I wore it with a green faux fur coat. I've then worn it with my blue Lagerfeld puffer jacket. And then I've also wore it yesterday and I wore it with just a um, navy um, hoodie navy gilet from jack wills and then i threw this on over the top and i took this for a walk it's a really good bag from that perspective in terms of capacity i've got some things here to show you how much fits because it's quite substantial so a long wallet not everyone uses a long wallet i know i do long wallet keys i use a six ring key holder long champ sanitizer fragrance atomizer a mobile phone, car keys, and if needs be, a sunglasses case. Pop all of that in, zip it up, doesn't look bulbous, doesn't look uncomfortable, that will easily just go across the chest. It's comfortable enough to wear, particularly as I put the wallet at the back so it's flat at the back. There you go. That's a lot of capacity for what would otherwise be considered a fairly small bag. I think that's pretty good in terms of the capacity. So I'm happy with that. It does everything that I need it to. I will never use it in a formal setting. This will only ever be used in a more casual setting for walks, running errands. Um, maybe if I'm going out for a day trip, if I go to somewhere like a theme park, I would possibly use this sort of bag just because it keeps everything in one place and it's easy from a safety perspective as well. If I go to concerts, I would potentially use this. A belt bag was something that I'd not really considered before. I have a Ralph Lauren one that I never used, um, but actually seeing them being styled across the chest made me think, actually, that's probably the way that I would want to wear them. And that is the way that I've been enjoying wearing this. I couldn't do that with the Ralph Lauren one. So I needed one that was a slightly more like athletic um, look, had a slightly more athletic look to it. This is twisted. Is that going to do what I need it to do? There we go. So it's a great piece. The one downside with it, the one downside, and I don't quite know how to fix this, and it was not going to do it. Oh, no, it is. When you walk, it squeaks. And I don't quite know how to fix that, but it squeaks. That's the one thing. I don't notice it if I'm walking and I've got my headphones in. Um, however, when I've used it and I didn't have my headphones in, I've noticed it and it's annoying. It is annoying. And I don't quite know how to fix that. It might hopefully be something that just changes over time or adjusts over time. There might be something that I can put under it. But of course, because the strap moves, I don't know which point on the strap I need to do it, um, especially as I adjust the strap. So that's the only thing with it that I wouldn't have known without trying it and without using it. Is it a deal breaker for it? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. It's still a fantastic, fantastic bag. But go into it knowing that there is the potential that the metal and whatever this fabric is squeak on one another. Yeah. It's just a quirk of this particular bag. It's not something that I'm upset about in any capacity. It's not going to stop me using it. It would not stop me recommending it. It's just a little quirk that I've noticed about it. However, for the price point, I think it's a fantastic, fantastic bag. I think as belt bags go, it's a really cool looking one. It really fulfills that somewhat athleisure look. It's funky and... and Oh God, I sound, oh my word, I've turned 29 now. I'm like, it's funky and fresh. I'm like, oh, I sound like such a loser. Oh my goodness. It's cool. What are the words that the cool kids use? I don't know. It's cool. Is it? I don't know. I don't know. I've lost my bearings. I've lost my bearings. Um, 
so, but anyway, I think it's cool. I think it's athletic. I think it's fun. And I'm going to use funky again. It's funky. You know, I think it adds a bit of a pop to the outfit. I love how bright that white eco nile is. It's a great piece, white clean, easy to use. That's what these types of bags are all about. You don't want them to be a huge hassle. And this one certainly isn't. So there we have it, everyone. Those are my first impressions. Let me know what you think. Do you own anything from this particular collection? Do you own this bag? Are you interested in the energy line? Let me know. I've had a few questions um, from you about the energy line. So um, if you do have any more, let me know. But look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye now.